young African-American males are killed by gun and injured by gun at a higher rate than any other segment of the population. Gun and gang violence in the city of Portland are too high. We are now this summer kicking off Operation Safe Summer, and it is our continuing effort to provide a comprehensive approach uh, to safety in the community. To provide kids, uh, you know, the opportunity to graduate from high school, no matter what their background is, no matter where they live, uh, to increasing our summer uh, school and summer uh, gang outreach. You may say I'm a dreamer, but the I'm first Portland police officer was hired 167 years ago, and today marks the first time that the Portland Police Bureau will have its own training facility. And I want to thank the great work of the Portland Police Bureau, um, who in addition to everything else that they've had to do, especially in the last four to six months, uh, they've stayed on top of this, and um, I'm very proud to be the police commissioner here in Portland. It takes all of us to keep Portland safe, and I really encourage you to get involved with your neighborhood public safety program. Join a volunteer foot patrol. It's a great way to prevent crime. The prevention of gun crimes have never been as coordinated um, among all uh, agencies that, that should or do have pieces of this issue and has never been more community-based um, than it is right now. Police Activities League Youth Center here at 172nd off policing. I've been here for several years and uh, it's quite an opportunity to provide this for the young people come and have fun, pro-social activities, no trouble, and uh, form relationship with police officers, other volunteers, and the mayor of the city of Portland. So this is the other side of our point of, you know, get tough on gang violence, get tough on the use of illegal guns. This is about giving you something positive, something interesting, good recreation. It's uh, all part of keeping the city safe. And it's the federal law that is holding us back for more local gun safety measures. I urge Portlanders to contact our federal delegation and urge support to fix these background checks. At 10 a.m. in the Benson lot on the east side of downtown Portland's Broadway Bridge uh, with Ceasefire, Oregon, we'll be having another gun turn in. We want people to turn in their guns. These guns, the guns especially that are not kept a close eye on, they end up uh, too often in the wrong hands. Today we are uh, another step along the way of confronting that perception, more importantly, the reality of juvenile sex trafficking in our city. We have bolstered the uh, sex trafficking detail, doubling the civilian outreach workers. The first time ever uh, the City of Portland and Multnomah County will be funding secure uh, shelter beds for the victims of juvenile sex trafficking. We have developed a partnership with uh, a group of local churches. Uh, we have put in strengthening the state laws and the state sanctions for juvenile sex trafficking. The fact that all these people have come together to say on National Night Out, this is our park and we're not going to take it, it's just excellent. You may say I'm a dreamer, but I'm not the only one. I'm Akoya Tyler, uh, 15 years old, and the founder of T Waves, which is Teens Walking Against Violence. We did a walk last year on May 28th and we just kind of got fed up with all the violence and our people that we know getting hurt and no one taking up for it and no one taking a stand to stop it you know. So. A lot of people would just be too afraid or nervous about you know just so directly taking on the issue of violence. What were you nervous? Were you afraid? I wasn't really afraid of it. I just wanted to like to do something and have people to you know support me and have my back with it. So in the long run, long run, people came together and we just got it done. Doors started opening like the week before opening, and then right the day of, it was just a great outcome. These two young ladies are great 
great leaders in helping to keep our community safe for everybody. Thank you. Very inspiring. Thank you for your great work. Thank you. I hope someday.